Right, okay, well here's our Magnum. Amiga Force S45 there, quite a well-known radio. This is the next one up from the old uh, Delta Force. Now this is a early version which uses the 2SC 1969 outputs in parallel for high power. It is not the later MOSFET version, thank God. Now the problem with this radio was is that the uh, main output supply regulator, this part here, which is a 2SB754 made by Toshiba, commonly used in many of these high powered type Uniden clone radios. Uh, it was blown and basically the variable power control here on the radio was having no effect so uh, the output was basically around about 30 watts and you couldn't adjust it at all. Also the uh, other symptom is that the uh, AM modulation is non-existent, you just lose all AM audio and swing altogether. Now I've replaced it as you've seen in the uh, in the pictures there so we're now going to do a quick test we're on FM 2755 and we've got the Revex meter there with a the dummy load we're on the 20 watt scale. Power is minimum at the moment. We're keying up and we don't have anything on the meter I'm just going to up the power slightly and there we are we have some power on the radio now. There we go go up a bit more straight across there straight off the 20 watt scale we got to the 200 watt scale and we have quite a lot of power, about 30 watts there, we'll actually go even higher than that and what we do now is we're just going to go over to uh, AM mode and we'll have a look on there audio, audio on the Revex we've got just under 20 watts there, about 15 watts carry up and swing in there quite nicely over to 30 watts. We'll turn the power right up. Swinging up there just over 40. So we we'll now have a look at SSB. And there we are, USB mode, full power, audio on the meter, audio. Good 40 watts. We'll just turn the power down over there. Have a look. Reduced. Now only about 10 watts. So there we go. Our Magnum Amiga Force S45 is back to operational condition.